so I'm just going to run through like some fun stuff. I hope it's helpful. And uh, that's really all I wanted to do today. Not, no pressure, no, uh, you know, no deep thinking involved. It, it'll just be like a quick, fun thing. So just something that we can all do to make Susie successful. So I'm her web designer. I'm her web admin. And mm -hmm. I've been designing websites since 1996. And um, I'm like obsessed with uh, image optimization and SEO. And I also do branding and stuff. But I'm an artist, first and foremost, that just found myself in this web world. So look at this head shot. If we open this in a, another, look at the detail on this guy. Nobody wants to see mm -hmm. what this guy had for lunch in his teeth. You know, it's just <laughs> incredibly detailed. You can see lint on his shirt. It's so high res. And when we look back at the image, it's uh, three megs. So it's, it's clearly not been optimized and it's just murdering her SEO. Her SEO took a nosedive over the last year and she's spending on trying to boost her SEO. And meanwhile, her team, they're sabotaging her and they don't know they're doing it. Here's another headshot. If we open this in a new tab, you can see the detail on this image is just unnecessary. There's so much you can do. If someone really cared about their job and they wanted to research, like um, uh, tucking this background, there's so much you could do to help Susie be successful. Look, I had these. This is another huge file. Look at this massive file I found on the server. That was for a podcast. That was for a podcast. This woman, we people are looking on cell phones. You know what I mean? I actually took like a couple hours to make something for you. And I call it Josh's image resizing notes. And it's just like a bunch of cool, helpful things that you can do, not just for Susie, but for all your clients. I, I crunched the numbers and it's about a 40% increase in her SEO. If you were to do these things, you do get about 40% increase. The, the podcast company, Mm. They've installed almost 16 plugins on Susie's website. Um, you're not supposed to have more than 20 plugins on a website. And if we look at Susie's pl plugin list, she has 42 plugins. It's absurd. It's just murdering her SEO. Like some of them are just, if you don't know how to code, you throw this plugin on top of the pile and you don't need these plugins. But I deactivated the ones I don't think we need. And her on GT metrics, her, um, her SEO score, scored immediately jumped almost two letter grades which is just mind blowing so i i install a plugin today called media scan and it tells you all the files that are not being used on the website or slowing the website down look at this image 46 megabytes that's just massive 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 and if we look there's 46 files that are not being used on the website that are dragging the server down so i started to look what are all these images because and I'm, i really need to get in here and just get rid of all this i don't know what a lot of this is like who is this guy Vigil parmer i mean i'm assuming <laughs> it's part of it, it's the headshot for a guest on her podcast page yeah on her podcast yeah and at two megs so there's like the, that's all like the the negative stuff let's talk all the positive stuff there's so much cool stuff we can do to mitigate this if anything i can share and help you be better then hey great just want to show you today so these are like your default you probably know this those are your default mm -hmm. uh, sizes we, we need to delete unused images we should deactivate these plugins blah 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 there's that meow media cleaner if you ever want to see what stuff you've uploaded and that you're not using that's a great plugin um here here's what the image files should look like they should be 1200 by 900 if you're using landscape so let's open up Photoshop. So this is going to be super helpful for you. And a lot of it you may already know. So just, you know, stop me if you know. But like if we go into our image sizes, you know about image sizing? You go to image and image size, that's huge too. You get this. So resolution, if it's ever at like, you'll see a lot at 120 or you'll even see like 300 is pretty typical. We never use that on websites. We always use 72. Pixel size. I gave you the cheat sheet right here. It should be 1200 by 900. Let's put in 1200. Look at the file size, 18 megabytes. That's crazy. That's like, you never see that in a website. That would be, you wouldn't even see a video that big, which is 30 frames per second, 30 pictures per second. So we knock it down to 1200, the appropriate size. Look what it did. It knocked it down to 412. We're getting closer. It should be in kilobytes. We want to get it out. M means megabyte. We want to get it out. 
look, it was 18, now it's four. So we need to optimize this file. So I was, I put together like a little walkthrough in here. You can go through on how to do that. There's a great link here. There's like these little tricks, like applying a Gaussian blur is a trick. Another one is this um, save for web. This is all in my notes for you. But here, this is save for web is a legacy. That legacy, if you've ever seen that word in any kind of software, it just means it's like old school, the way that people used to do it, but it's still offered because a lot of people still do it. Um, being in the web world and I'm going to boot camps and seminars and being a bed, better web designer, like all the time, I'm a, kind of a nerd about it. People still use this and love this legacy thing. So, and when you click on it, you get this like somewhat convoluted screen, but it's really simple. The only thing we need to know is uh, this progressive button. You can either choose, opti it defaults at optimize actually. I had it on progressive because I use that, but optimize. Um, and then you just click this little button here, quality. And you get, get out of my way, there it is. You get this little slider and you can literally just drag the slider and look at it and see, but it's like crushing the, the file size, which is awesome. Here's where, where the way it looked originally. Look at the, you can see it's like, no one is ever gonna zoom in and see the detail. You never would need something this big. And th by the way, that's a great way to see if it's an oversized file by just zooming in. I'm just gonna bring, I'm gonna bring it down to 900 because that's still acceptable. That cut it in half. They say like image files should be under a meg. They should be in the kilobytes. 400 kilobytes is what WordPress and Google say is, is the average acceptable file size. We're still a little big. So that's just a great start. Yeah, if you wanted to master this image optimization, you know, it's really cool is selective JPEG compression. If you ever have like, see this background here, if you wanted to be a real boss about it, you could like select all this other crap in the background and like knock the resolution down. I know like who's got time for that, right? I, I do it for my clients sometime, but you can actually knock that resolution down. There's an there's actually an optimized plugin that does that, but I digress. I won't bore you with all that. But that'll that's also another great way to knock down file sizes if you're like a big Photoshop nerd like me. This is something I learned in college that's really cool. When you go to save a file, Maybe we'll name this number two, right? And it just says, do you ever see, you know, this screen, this JPEG screen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can knock this way down and you it makes almost no difference in the way it looks. You can get down there to like five, six, seven, and it, it makes almost no difference and it literally chops the file. That's a huge gold nugget right there too. We're going to say done. We did that. I got that image down and it looks almost the same. I got it down to in the kilobytes here, which is great. Shoot a, to be around 400 kilobytes or okay. even less, and it's going to be fine. People are looking at this stuff on cell phones. Nobody's zooming in on this file. Uh, oh, naming the image files is huge. Yeah, like this is cool. This word graphics, we, I would drop P, power your profits, I guess. That's abbreviated, so that's cool. 55. Uh, that's probably the episode number. Ah, okay, cool. So you need that for your archiving. So that's good. Scaled means, wow, it was probably even bigger at one point. This is good though, that you have this label. I often will like meet clients and it'll be like 5792201111 JPEG. And like Google bots, they just gloss right over that. Those crawlers that go out, you know, every two weeks, they come back to Google and say, does this client have authority or not? And, you know, that's what you want to give your clients. You want to give them authority, right? And just file naming makes a massive difference to those bots. So this is great. But I do notice like uh, there are other people on the team that are, are uploading like just numerical file naming. And that's also SEO suicide. So we want to avoid that. And um, I think just like getting rid of all these images that we're not using is going to make a big difference. So I'll leave all that to you. Cool. Thanks so much.